Good morning. Today I am going to continue regarding the recursive functions. Whatever may be the language, but the functions uh, normally we write in the same way. Uh, I have already explained in my previous lecture how to write for the n factorial. Now I am going to write for uh, what is called the Fibonacci number. And uh, in my lecture, I have already discussed that there should be a base case and uh, every successive step should take it to the uh, base case. So in my Fibonacci, my Fibonacci number, I say that they are of the series, uh, the Fibonacci series. Uh, Fibonacci series, it is like 0, 1, 1, 2, some of these two will give 2, these two will give 3 and these two will give 5. So what I mean to say is the first term, this is my first term, the first term is 0, right? And this is my second term, second term is 1. And every other term, the third, the third term onwards, so I say that Tn is T of n minus 1 and T of n minus 2. So where n is greater than 2. So for any term, so this is how I define. So my Fibonacci term, in other words, I say that Fib 1 is 0, the first term is 0 and uh, this is uh, the second term is 1. So I say it is 1 and, uh, and uh, all other terms, I say Fib of nth term is Fib of n minus 1 plus Fib of n minus 2. This is what I derive. So this is my base case. So how do I write a, a C function for this is? It is very simple. So because ultimately it is going to return only the integer value. So I write int fib. fib and I write here int n and I define like this. Very simple. If n is 0 because if n is 1 sorry if n is 1 if n is equal to 1 if n is equal to 1 you say return this 0 else if n is 2 you return 1 you return 1 else you say you return you return, you write fib of n minus 1 plus fib of n minus 2 and you close it. That's all. So, slowly your condition will drive it to the terminal condition. So, if the nth term, so n will take it to n minus 1 and n minus 2. And slowly the n will reach 1 and 2. So when it is reaching 2, 1 will be written. When it is reaching 1, the 0 will be written. So this is how the recursive function for Fibonacci terms is written. Thank you.